Hi, I'm Tenman432, and welcome back to the Mega Man Zero Four playthrough. Um, yeah, we're on Ragnarok here, and it's time to save the world, you know? Not too much to say here about this first part of the stage, um, so I'm just gonna play this music here. This is actually, um, one of my favorite tracks from Zero Four, um, called Straight Ahead, and it's the stage music that's playing right now. So yeah, see you in a sec. So yeah, again, that's from the um, Mega Man Zero, or Rock Man Zero remastered tracks, the uh, Mythos version. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good soundtrack, but whatever. Um, here we're at this part of the level. Um, yeah, I'm, again, I'm gonna have to blame this uh, wireless Xbox 360 controller for um, grabbing those grips on the platforms there. It's pretty hard, like I explained in the Solar Garden and also the uh, City stage. Because you have to hold up, and with these kind of controllers, for emulators, um, holding up means you have to actually hold up. You can't do diagonal up, for some strange reason. This next part, though, is uh, gonna be hard either way, no matter what controller you have. Uh, you kinda gotta, you know, like I said, grab onto the platforms, but then sometimes you have to jump up, and then jump back down so you don't get crushed by spikes, like those ones. And here I'm about to fall to my death because the controller disconnected for half a second. Pretty mean. Anyway, we're back here. Let's do this the proper way. There we go. So yeah, those little bomb things will try to make you have a very, very mean, bad day, and they'll knock you off the little platforms, which will make you fall to your death. For this next part, um, like I said, you have to wait to jump onto the platform, so you kinda gotta climb on this wall here. And then, yeah, once you jump onto the platform, you have to jump underneath it, and then hang on. And then, jump onto another platform, and then those bomb things, like I said, will try to make you have a very, very bad day. But now we're past that hardest part, I think. Um, yeah, you don't wanna know how many attempts I had to do. For recording this, it's pretty sad. You know, I consider myself a pretty good Mega Man player, but I, I just gotta blame the controller, you know? It already fired! Seal, respond! Z z z z z it's not working. What's going on up there? I mean down there? You're kind of in space, pal. Zero. What are you doing here? I won't let you fire again. You were after a while, weren't you? Ragnarok is charging up for a second shot. This will change the world and the people in it. Do you think Mij would approve of what you're doing? I know that what I'm doing makes me seem like wild. I don't care if people think I'm a maverick. Someone has to take a stand and fix humanity's course. Bruh. Bruh, wait, wait a second. We could just talk about this, man. We don't need a fight. I mean, you know who's gonna win anyway, right? Anyway, here's Kraft. He's basically the same boss that you fight uh, earlier in the game. No new attacks, I don't think. Same strategy. I don't know if he has more health, I don't remember. But, yeah, he might be a little faster still. Um, I think it's basically the same fight. Just, you know, watch out for that knife attack, it does quite a bit of damage. Watch out for that missile attack, it does enough damage to mess you up. 
Now watch out for this uh, bomb attack there that he does sometimes. This attack, you just jump. But yeah, that's all. Rest in peace. Hey, we still got a B. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We're only Reploids designed for war. It's not our place to change the world. That's up to humans like Seal and Nige. As Reploids, we can only lend strength to those we trust. Trust? And just who should I be trusting? The humans that do nothing while their world falls apart? The humans that fear us, their own creations? Or the humans that try to conquer the world? We fight each other for them? The world screams out in pain under them. Why should I trust anyone? How can you trust them? How can you fight? I made a promise to a friend that I intend to keep. To someone who believed harmony between human and reploid was possible. I trust that friend. And I trust the humans that that friend trusts. Oh, I see. I couldn't even bring myself to trust Nige. Even though she has only told the truth. Yeah. Craft. Leave my body here. I can no longer face Niche. I don't want to cause her to suffer anymore. I will do as you asked. Zero. The humans. The reploids. The world. And Niche. Watch over them. <laughs> dot dot dot. Zero, respond. Seal. I stopped Ragnarok. And craft? And craft. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Mission complete. I'm coming back. Rest in peace, craft. Cobor team here. Mission complete, Seal. Oh man, that's a mess, guys. That is a big mess. The humans and Raploids have been evacuated. New Arcadia has been eradicated by Ragnarok's attack, and there's nothing but a crater in the center where Wile was. I doubt there was any survivors in that area. Yeah, maybe. I see. Good work, everyone. Continue to search for any survivors. Acknowledged. Seal. Are you okay? I'm okay, just a, just a little tired. Incoming tra communication from an outside line. It's from the settlement. I'll patch it in. Zero. Niche. It was just like you said. It doesn't matter what I do. As long as I keep fighting, I'm no different from Wile. Dude. And I had to fight Kraft. No, Zero. Thank you. For stopping Kraft. No biggie. Ragnarok and Neo Arcadia are no more. Is it finally over? So many humans and reploids lost their lives. Zero, did we do the right thing? Oh. Great way to jinx it, seal. What was that? It came from Ragnarok. It's still operational. But Wile and Kraft are gone. Who could be controlling it? Operator, send me back to Ragnarok. I can't. Only the control room is connected. There's protection around the circuit to the center. When we can't transfer you from the access port in the trailer, Ragnarok is accelerating and is headed straight for... What's wrong? It's headed straight for Area Zero. Someone's trying to crash it. What? There's still some time before it touches down. But we can't do- we need to do something. Zero, Seal, you okay? Are you is the real question. Niche, Ragnarok is- I heard. I'm sending over some coordinates. You might be able to reach Ragnarok with these. What? Where do these go to? To the teleporter base in Neo Arcadia. It was originally designed to transfer troops, and it might have just enough power to get you over to Ragnarok. Coordinates received from the settlement. Inputting now. Zero. If that's your only chance, it's what I have to take. Coordinates to the teleporter base have been set. Transfer? Yes. Let's go.
In order to send the transporter coordinates, you're going to have to disable the base's protection. You have to you can disable it by pulling all the switches at the end of these hallways. Really? That's that's kind of a brute force method. Anyway, um for this level we got four hallways we gotta go down and then come back up eventually. But at the end is a little switch that we can pull out with the zero knuckle, and pulling all four will enable us to fight the boss and thus get access to the Ragnarok. So for this part, I don't remember if you guys uh, saw my Zero Two videos, but there is these little bomb dudes, and you could blow up the little platforms in the lava stage. Basically the same thing here. Not the most fun thing to be doing. But yeah, um, just do that, just wait around, and then hit it with your Z Saber to angle it correctly. There we go. Alright, we're down. And then down here, we're going to want to equip the z -knuckle. And there will be a switch here. Just pull it. And then there's only three left to go. So let's do it. Going back up for this one is a little harder, because you have to actually climb upward. And this thing's really annoying, because uh, whenever I shoot it down, and then I fall back down, it always just uh, kind of regenerates. But whatever. Let's try not to make that happen. Also, if you fall in that door again, it'll just send you back, and it's kind of frustrating sometimes, because you don't want to go back, you know? I like the music in this level, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really deserve its own music track interruption, so I'm just gonna keep talking. Narration. So now that we got the first hallway done, we just got three more to go. And so let's go to the one to the left. And there's some lava we can jump over. Um, I'm not really sure who designs a teleporter base like this, like, who puts all these enemies just in the hallways, and then all these hazards and lava and stuff, like, that's not, it's not very, you know, worker-friendly, I guess. They're just not part of the union, I suppose. Anyway, uh, yeah, just some drill enemies here, just drilling at the grounds, um, no reason, really, it's just a perfectly fine building, we don't need more holes for platforming and stuff. But whatever. We got the second switch here. And then we'll head back. Yeah. Two left to go. Let's head back. Um, anyway, yeah. Maybe Wild just kinda did some remodeling around here just to make it harder for Zero to get by. Oh wait, Wild's dead, I forgot, sorry. Um, maybe it was originally like this, man. I don't know how they would transfer all the uh, troops that don't have, like, lava and water capability to tread, you know? Because most of the enemies are not of lava or water. They are just of land. So I don't know how they would deactivate this without sending some, you know, experienced zero reploid dunno. Whatever. This is kind of leading on. You know what? I think I might play the music here just to get a little bit of extra time with no commentary, you know? I think I'll just do that. See you in a sec.
we're back. I think that was long enough. Anyway, we just pulled the last switch. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to the center. But I always like to do this little drop down here. You just kind of fall through. It's pretty fun. The only fun part of the stage for me. Anyway, we're here! Boss fight time. We. Well, that's a nice creepy sound. Anyway, here's the little security thing, worm. I have no idea what this is. Um, it's pretty slow with this attack here. You could just kind of dodge in between these little stars. They do do a nice amount of damage, though. And then they have this attack here. Um, these kind of sensing panels that shoot you. You could destroy them, but there's really not much point. Um, because they always regenerate. Unless you can't dodge the bullets, then destroying them would be the optimal thing to be doing. It'll come out, and it'll bounce around like this, and yeah, that's pretty much all of its attacks, right there. Um, it's pretty annoying, because you can't really damage it um, when it's doing these panel attacks here, because it's hiding in there. It's kind of strange. But what's even stranger about this boss is its voice lines. You can hear that little voice there. Pretty creepy. Anyway, the most bestest time to put out damage on this thing is when it's doing this attack here with the little ninja stars. Little shuriken. And there we go. Just try to full slash it when it's doing this, this little thing there, shooting at the ninja stars. And you should have this boss in the bag. I just said that out loud, it sounded weird. Last hit. Yeah. No more damn creepy noises from this dude. Still maintaining that beat somehow. Alright. Inputting coordinates. Done. Now you can reach Ragnarok, so get back here ASAP. Yay. Transferring in two, one. Welcome back. Thanks to you, we've secured access to the teleporter circuit. We still have to bypass the protection surrounding Ragnarok, but I've got an idea. Let's continue with the next mission when you're ready. Alright, so next mission um, is the Ragnarok teleporter circuit. Yeah, it's gonna be kinda strange. Using the teleporter base, we can transfer you to Ragnarok, but you still have to disable the protection around Ragnarok on your own. How do I do that? I can help there. Whenever we transfer you somewhere, we transfer you into program data, and then something something. Some science stuff. Yeah, it's pretty strange. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I don't like this sci-fi stuff, it doesn't make that much sense to me. Basically, they're gonna send my data through there so I can hack it, but I'm still zero because that's my virtual manifestation during the mission. I think. I don't know. Let's, let's just get on with it. So this is the inside of a teleporter circuit? Looks a lot like cyberspace. Zero, come in! This circuit leads to Ragnarok! It looks like the enemy is there too! Destroy the protection program ahead! Yeah, so this is, um, the circuit here. Don't know why Metar are in here. I thought this was like a digital realm. But whatever, I guess enemy program files can end up in the digital realm. Anyway, for this level, we got these little turning wheel things that you really can't progress too quickly through without the risk of getting shock killed. Like that. They do enough damage to be... to cause some carefulness concern. And we're through that. Um, we got a lot of these enemies with the lasers, the e-lasers, and metars. And that's basically the stage right there. Just gotta move slowly so you don't die. Just like on freeways, and highways, and road trips, and bike rides, and anything that involves motion. Unfortunately, nothing I just said has to do with this game. Um, mostly because this level is pretty uh, weird. And not too much to talk about. The background is pretty neat. Kinda reminds me of the special stages from a certain Sonic game. And also kinda reminds me of the 3D from a certain other Sega game called Fantasy Star, the 3D combat system, you know? Pretty neat. 
halfway through the level here. Um, we got some weird digital stuff. And then we got these goop things that I don't like. Surprise, more platforms that you grab on. I kind of did a leap of faith there. I did not actually know that there would be a platform there. I just kind of guessed, you know. Yeah. This Xbox controller, plus this platforming, plus these green goop dudes. Not a very happy time. So up ahead, we got some uh, electricity blocks that were also in uh, Mega Man Zero One, in the tower t stage. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna die here, you know. Oh, I th <clears throat> so close, man. Um, whatever. We got this this time. Let's go. And here we are. We made it across, and um, yeah. This music's also pretty good, but, you know, I don't have the time to play the whole song. I do want to commentate every now and then. But here's the boss here. This is the protection program? Beep beep. Circuit intrusion. <laughs> it literally says beep beep. Dude. That's amazing. Anyway, for this boss we got a little ball. Not the most uh, menacing looking enemy in a video game yet, but, um, it is kind of, it's, it's a good boss fight, I guess. Kind of test your speed and stuff. There's these little boxes in the corner, and they will send out electricity every now and then, when the ball is feeling like sending out electricity. So if you destroy one of them, and it, the ball can't send electricity to one of the, another bo box, then it won't be able to send anything. There's also these little um, mini balls that come after you, and they're pretty, uh, annoying, because they don't disappear when you hit them, they just kind of take a little knockback. Um, but other than that, you just gotta grab onto this platform here when the ball goes by. I, I keep calling it the ball, I should call it the orb, or something better, something more menacing. The security program, I guess. Is that how antivirus programs look? I need to watch my, uh, Ralph Rex internet again. Anyway, here, this, uh, three slash should have killed this thing, but no. I got, uh, overconfidence. Let's try that at one more time. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. As long as we don't fall off the edge, we should be fine. <laughs> Alright, so we're both at low health. As long as I don't, you know... Getting in its way. I should be fine. Oh well. This is the one, guys. We are going to get it right now. This is the one. Let's do this. Yeah, somehow this non menacing little orb ball turned into like my biggest nightmare ever. Making me die three times in a row. Actually, I died five times in a row, but I didn't put those on camera here because that would be downright embarrassing. Even to say that I died five times, that'd be even worse. But whatever, this is the one, guys. It's already at half health. We've taken one hit so far. Do those triple slashes, zero. Um, yeah. My biggest con, my biggest concern here is these, these little these little blobs here, because I don't really pay attention. And they're like those little mini slimes in Minecraft, you know? They just kind of sneak up on you and then they kill you. It's pretty mean, but whatever. Um, Let's, let's do this, man. I, I know I can. And What's this attack? This, this is new. I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, well, whatever. Here we go. Two more hits. Let's finish this right now. <clears throat> yes. I did it. I finally did it. After, after all this time, after ten minutes, I finally, finally killed this guy. Alright, sorry, folks. This is all we have for today. Um, next part, we're going to... Um, finish this and stop Ragnarok again. So yeah, see you till then. See you till then. Peace and cheap.